Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video where today we have some FNAF into madness news. I think my camera's a bit wonky. Hey. Yeah. Sure, good enough. FNAF into madness is the next game Scott wants to work on, and it looks like it's going to include voice acting because over on voices.com, where, and that's where the Scott goes to get voice actors for the games like Sys Location, Custom Night, all that stuff. He actually has, he actually posted a voice acting job for people, and two people have applied, or actually we don't know how many people have applied, but we know that, we know for sure that two people are getting one job. So it's kind of like Nightmare Yawn from Custom Night in a way, where it's one, dogs, can you shut up, where it's one job but there's multiple voice actors for it. If you don't understand, we're gonna get into it now. So let's just look at the, th the description for the job. <sighs> Hope they don't continue growling because I need to make a video today. So like I said previously, Voices.com is a website you can go to. It's mostly used by voice actors, but people looking for voice actors post jobs there and then voice actors on the site can apply for those jobs and get it. It's really simple, it's really easy to use. I'm not even signed up because <laughs> I'm not a voice actor, but this is where Scott goes to get voices for the games and that's all he's used it for. So unless he's doing something brand brand new, this is FNAF Into Madness. And we know that because the AAA game is going to be, you know, made by a big company. So it's not going to be Scott looking for the voice actors, it's going to be the big company looking for the voice actors with Scott's approval. And the VR game is, I believe, also being made by another company. Yeah, it is. So that's not going to be Scott looking for voice actors as well. And also, the VR game is based on FNAF 1. It might still have some differences, but besides that, it looks to just be a FNAF 1 remake, maybe? I don't know. We haven't really seen much or really anything about it besides the a description and the name of it so we don't know if it's going to contain anything else but since it's also being made by another company scott won't be looking for the voice actors the company will the only choice unless scott kept something secret from us the only option left for games that he's making is the next game the next fnaf game fnaf into madness which is FNAF I'm, which is cool. So here's the job he posted. It's called Journalist Reading Blog Job number 327082. And both the people that we'll be looking at, at after this have the same um, job for this blog. So the posting details. Posted date February 26, 2019 at that time. Respond by the same date. Ward count of 1,000, exactly, and the finish minutes are 6 minutes and 40 seconds, so that's how long the, the script is. Language, English, North American, gender, both, age range, young adult, excuse me, and then category, uh, video games, excuse me, I'm drinking a Coke. <laughs> Hashtag non -spawn. Okay, job, oops, job description. This is actually a bit more than what it sounds like, but we'll stick with, but we'll stick with this title. So journalist, what it means by what it sounds like is journalist reading blog job. Scott wants to make it clear that you're going to be more than just a journalist. You are having a bigger role than that. So in this role, you'll be reading the development log of a failed project in hopes that whoever hears your recording will be able to succeed where you failed. It should be read without too much emotion, but with hints of anxiety, frustration, as well as as well as grave seriousness. It's im. All right then. <laughs> it's yeah that the person who hears you listens. Imperative. Again, if you're new to this channel, then only thing I have to say. It, well, I got two things to say. Two, one, why don't you subscribe? It's it's down there. Hit the bell. And two, I suck at reading. So, notes from Voices.com. This job posting has been reviewed and approved by Voices.com. 
Uh, I don't think this is anything. No, it's not. What is with you dogs and barking whenever I'm recording? So the journalist really reminds me of Henry in uh, FNAF 6, where he was kind of the, he was the FNAF 6 versions of the phone guy. He was actually Cassette Man. Uh, his name in the files, I'm pretty sure it was. And then later on, it was revealed that... Shut up, phone. It was revealed that he was a much bigger character than just, you know, the man on the cassette tapes. So that's, this is what, oh, Jesus Christ, this is what reminds me of, this is what that reminds, this is what this reminds me of. Again, suck at talking. But, yeah. So, it might be another scenario like that. FNAF and Madness, we don't know what it's going to be about, we don't know when it takes place, where it goes on the timeline. Uh, a failed project? That could be a lot of things, and there's so much it's kind of hard to narrow it down. But now we're going to look at the two people that have actually got the job with the journalist reading blog job. So the first person is Sarah Miller Cruz, who is the first person that auditioned and the first person that got the job for the role. And Scott left her a view. A really... Why? Stop. <laughs> Scott left her a review. And something to note is that both the people that got the job are females. It did, however, say that it can go for any gender, both. It also didn't say, kind of like the Cassidy and Custom Night, it didn't say, you know choose one over the other or try to mix it into both but yeah just any gender will work with this which is interesting because that means scott doesn't really have a even though it says it's a bit more than what it sounds like you would think that depending on the gender it would play a different role but who knows so sarah miller cruz scott's review was sarah worked very fast and did a great job and if we actually go to Scott's page, we can see that Sarah left her review for Scott, saying, It was great working with you. I hope we, we can collaborate again on another project soon. That's always what people say, and of course she's not going to write something revealing what the job was. But yeah, Sarah Miller Cruz is the first, is the first voice actress announced for the next game. And the second one is Brianna Kennedy. We actually have a picture of her. And yeah, another female, Los Angeles, US. I didn't actually check to see, it doesn't really matter. But Scott, le Scott left a review saying, Brianna was terrific and walked very fast. I hope to walk with her again. And then if we go back to Scott's page, I just realized I can just go to here. She said, Scott was wonderful, clear in his direction, and easy to communicate with. I look forward to working together again. Whether that means maybe there's something else coming, I highly doubt. I highly doubt that's what happened, but who knows? Maybe the fact that they're looking forward to work again, maybe Scott has something in mind. But I have a feeling he's just trying to wrap his head around everything that's happening now. So those are the two... Um, people, Sarah Miller Cruz and Brianna Kennedy. There's not really much to go off of. Highlights doesn't really... Dog still barking in the background. And... Uh, I feel like that's it. So this is most likely for Into Madness because of the reasons I mentioned earlier. All the other games are being made by different companies. So they would be looking for the voice actors and not Scott. But it looks like we have two people doing the voices for one character, which is always interesting. Because maybe that means we're going to see a change in their personality or see a change in who they are. Maybe that's what it means by a bit more than what it sounds like. Maybe one was like the default voice and then later on we learn 
that it's actually someone much different than what we were first introduced to. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Kind of the same thing with Henry and Six, where we just thought he was a cassette man, and then as we dug deeper, we found out he was, in fact, Henry. Played by someone Steele. Steve Steele, I want to say. I don't think that's it. Whatever. So, FNAF Into Madness, it looks like it's coming along good. Scott still has yet to update the FNAF 2019 discussion page. It's now been over 100 days. Yep, updated November 12th of 2018. And just to verify down here, last edit by Scott, November 12th at 11.25 a.m. So, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys are excited for Into Madness. Coming sometime 2019, don't know when, but when we do get a release date, I will make a video on that. So thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.